Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hi, welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. Happy Memorial Day weekend. I'm in Patricia's seat again. I'm not real fond of this. Um, <laughs> Patricia's visiting her family in Cincinnati. Um, happy birthday, Mr. Oz, Osley. It's a, and actually, happy birthday, Evan. Um, do our too. Yeah. Today's his birthday. Yeah. And so, so boy. I'm back. <laughs> and, and you guys, this is Laura Hansen. Laura's hanging out with us today on the couch. Yeah, joining us for coffee. Mm -hmm. Laura's been active in our community for many, many years and have known her for many years. Yeah. <laughs> now she's going to get me any more active. She just got elected to Parks and Recs this week. Right. <laughs> so, um, yesterday the three of us were at the Hopkinton Chamber event, mm -hmm. and that was kind of fun. It was. Um, and, uh, the 300th committee did a little presentation, and in case you've been living under a rock, um, <laughs> this year is the 300th anniversary of the founding of the town. So, lots are going on. So shake lots the program. Off and realize we're at the 300th anniversary. Yeah, um, and I know the big, big event is this fall, but lots of things are going on and have been going on. Last weekend, there was a historical society around Woodville, and I know there's some upcoming events, but then at the Chamber event, um, the YMCA presented. The Metro West Y, yeah. Metro West Y, because um, we have their outdoor center here in town, and it's this incredible, incredible facility, and then their other big facility for Metro West is in Framingham, which I have never been to. I've been there, yeah. Have you, you yeah, know, it's a nice facility. I've been to well, the Melissa outdoor did, facility. I, I don't think they even have preschool anymore, but my, my daughter went to preschool at the Metro West Y and graduated uh -huh. there. And then she went back for other programs. And you live near there. Yeah, well, yeah, my kids went to swimming lessons there a bunch. and, and it's Camps, neat. summer it's camps. It's a great facility. You know. I think the, I mean, some of the field days at end of school, kids have had field days, you know, the classes the have had field days there. The celebration moved there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, the outdoor center? Yeah. yeah, the outdoor center is beautiful. It's really nice. But and the, and um, the camps. I mean, and they've taken into, take, I mean, our scout, not yours, but my scout troop, the one we were part of, that's that's where we meet is at the Hayes Lodge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, that's where Cyrus is. Oh, now. Cyrus he's is going to Troop, troop 4. Yeah. Zach was in Troop 1. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy he's at Troop 4 because that's a great facility. And, yeah, I, fun. and I know um, we have all the uh, Fruit Street fields, but I still think there's some soccer that goes on back there. There's Fruit. a ton of soccer fields in yeah, the back. And so when we pulled in... Yeah, oh, my kids was, used to play on this because yeah. Fruit Street wasn't available. And so there's a lot of... Your kids are old. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm only 25. <laughs> Well, okay, I'm 30 now. Because well, Cam, <laughs> Cam just had a really big birthday, didn't she? She turned 21. Wow. And I'm actually going to scoot down there uh, this weekend for a belated birthday celebration. So, and help her move out of her apartment into uh, a sublet. Officially toast. It. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. But, uh, but back to the why, they do so many programs that are scholarship based. And they have a very, very, very modest um, fundraising goal. And we were talking about doing something fun with the um, the Real Housewives, the of, Real Hopkinton. Housewives of Hopkinton. So if you're listening and if you want to, watch the Facebook page. And if you haven't joined the Facebook page, join the Facebook page. Um, we we're thinking of doing a rock climbing mm -hmm. on the wall. Really fun. Yeah. I think, I mean, and seriously. It's, it's something different, and it'll benefit the Y. And it has different um, levels of difficulty. Yeah. So you can do the easy part, or you can do the really hard part. I'm going to be like the greeter in the front handing out name tags. Oh, stop. <laughs> You're gonna, we're going to get you up in the wall. I don't You're have that do much it. strength. It's right? really it fun. It's a no, fun road you, uh, you did it when we went to the Girl Scout uh -huh. thing. Yeah, I've done it before. Yeah, 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 yeah my yeah. kids yeah. have. Great I haven't done that wall. I've done other walls, you but I haven't do done that wall. They're, they have. They have. I've never a done different it. I watched you do it. I watched my daughter do it and her daughter do it and everything like that. And so I have a confession though. I used to rock climb in Yosemite. I learned how to do oh, real rock climbing. Now, I never did the, the really difficult, like never El Capitan right. or, or, or have to, you know, the, the hard side. But I used to do some of the, I, I did some rock climbing classes there. So it's oh, been years. Be a piece of cake. Then. Oh, no, no, no. I haven't done <laughs> I don't know how to sit on a rock. That's 
You want to sit on a rock? <laughs> I'll sit on a rock next to the water. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Let me go. Yeah. So you've done the rock climbing wall at the Y? Uh, yeah, a long time ago, but yeah, it's it's great. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah, it's really fun. It's it's just such a beautiful location too. You Isn't know, it? so there's like trails in there, and you know, it's just a nice facility. It really is. And they have the family swim club all summer. You can sign up for as well. You know, they um, need an indoor pool. Someday. They need an well. They actually tried to expand it uh, when I first moved here, but the residents didn't want it because of the traffic. But they were going to put an indoor facility in and everything. And well, I think they're still. I think. I think that's what yeah. I was asking him it's yesterday. It's going to come back around. Yeah, I, I, think, I think you know things are changing, and, and I think that's potential. Um, I think they just want to get more exposure. I think that's yeah. what his his real point yesterday was was getting the word out there and kind of well, well I think it was neat too because like, you it. were there newly elected to Parks and Recs you know Ron Fosey who you know sits on their board but is also on the board of the chamber has been very active in trying to bridge yeah. this community but then Jay who's the new director of Parks and Recs has been there and very much trying to build like Parks and Recs programs through the Y and using the resources and then what do they tell about the the Friday night or Saturday night? Yeah, Saturday. Saturday. yeah that's yeah. where I was going to go. Uh, do your kids uh, do that at all? They, I didn't even, wasn't even aware of it, and I was talking to uh, Scott, mm. who did the presentation, and he was saying... He's awesome. He's really nice. And, Thank um, you. And, and he, uh, he was saying how Hockington has been almost impossible to crack in terms of exposure for the kids and everything, um, that Ashland and Halston have been very receptive, but the last middle school event they did in Hockington, nobody showed up. So I didn't know if there was like, you know, more exposure that we could do, more ways of advertising yeah, I mean, it because I it's a great. I, it's I a didn't great know movie. about it. Well, what we need to do is find out about it, post it on the page. Yeah. And and get because it out there somehow. Because yeah, the kids it's, it's aren't asking like for they've it. been doing it for almost a year. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, at that point, Melissa was in middle school last year. I never heard about it. And Melissa was in the high flight program, yeah. seventh and eighth grade there. I never heard about like, yeah. oh, we have these. Like, and you, you know it's weird when it would be happening we're picking up from another program well and and what's interesting is uh, Saturday nights, it would yeah. dovetail oh, no, yes. really nicely with the high school's be free program yeah you know so I would just you know having a safe place fun things to it do it would be great to combine with be free yeah. that would be really so that would be great because that's be a, a great event to, yeah that yeah. is yeah. a great Marty Wake coffee that house event, or is it I think she does I know uh, Kira's done it every time she's yeah. performed she loves doing that so like if they combined it with that um, he was saying that sometimes the announcements get lost in the um, you know there's so many school announcements that it kind of gets lost in the shuffle so that if there was a way to separate it I don't well know. and that's well, I mean, why if they did like a, a the designated page. evil ass out to parents yeah. and put it on listserv and stuff I mean I missed um, that there was a freshman thing at Six Flags coming up in a few weeks it you know it was buried in there and then we happen to have a Facebook page for the, each class, and I saw it on the class of 2000. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. I have graduation. The girl has cotillion, and a week later, she's going to Six Flags, and I have to like, thanks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so know. much going on right now. That oh, it's, it's like crazy. Really hard. <laughs> well, and that's a good segue. So, <laughs> you live in town, mm -hmm. uh, newly elected Parker Rex. Yeah. You have three kids. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. tell us about the kids. Uh, I have a, well, all of them have been in um, Hopkinton since kindergarten um, and preschool. And I have a 19-year-old boy, Zach, and a 16-year-old daughter, Kira. Actually, she's going to be 16 this weekend. Yay, she would want me to say birthday. that. <laughs> happy birthday, Kira. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she has a radio show at uh, the high school. That's cool. And she, she's been plugging her birthday. Like playing the Beatles. Yeah. Like, oh, it's, it's I your love birthday. it. I love it. <laughs> um, and then my youngest, Cyrus, is 11. Very so. cool. So, so, so you've got some space, too. College, high school, and Soon to be middle school or rising. All righty. Very yeah. So I'm glad to know about this middle school night thing because he would love to do that kind of thing. Yeah, you know? fun. I want to do it. I know. You know? I know. But, you know they're talking about. Well, the that's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Not at the middle school. You know they were talking about family Having a grown and community up. engagement. I'm like, you know. They need to do something for us empty nesters. Like, who wants to go to bars? But, you know, I do. They should have a kids' night out for grown-ups. Okay, exactly. For the bounce house. <laughs> that would be hysterical. Hey, okay, i got to tell you, when we do the block party in my neighborhood, there's always the late-night crowd after <laughs> the kids are all gone. Now, apparently, you know, 
there's probably been more than coffee being consumed <laughs> that go into the bounce okay. house. <laughs> That's okay. what it would take. <laughs> so, so you've got three kids, mm -hmm. um, and you just recently were elected to Parks and Rex. Yeah. So that's exciting. Yes, yes. So. Dar Darlene has been trying to convince me for a while, and she finally won me over because I really was ready because my kids are older, you know, to get more involved um, on another level aside from scouting and mm -hmm. all the other things. And that's that actually I how done. Laura and I met so, was in scouting. So what do you do in scouting? What, what's your uh, moment? What hasn't <laughs> she done? <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, we met when Andrew was in kindergarten. And she was her oldest was a, is a couple years yeah. older. Yeah, was, was a cubby. And, well, <laughs> and she was leading the troop. Let's put it this way: it's, it was really <coughs> funny in our blue and gold banquet. They have service awards for how long you've been in, and Art Brooks is like our guy. He lives he across the Fontaine. He, yeah, he is. He is the scouting guru, right? He's been in for twenty nine years. Oh wow! The next level down was Karen and I at thirteen. <laughs> Wow. So we're like, and, we're and second to art. And Kara's one of her cool. best friends and is also Melissa's Girl Scout leader. Yeah. Oh. And stuff like that. And the best Girl Scout the best leader Girl Scout. ever. She actually, yeah, and just got some award. She did, She and she deserved it. And she, she um, her their troop is the only troop in their grade level that made it all the way. Wow. And yeah, they just they got their just, silver, right? They just right? got their silver yeah. award a few cool. weeks ago. She's a great leader. She's a now, great leader. is your daughter in Girl Scouts at all? Or she no? was. She, she was. was in Girl Scouts until... Eighth grade, I think. No, I and think she was in ninth, wasn't she? No, she didn't no, make it to high school. But, um, but a lot of things, yeah, there's so many things that go uh, on in high school. Middle, but it's middle school is, is the hardest thing to get over. That's when all the other troops left mm -hmm. that grade level. That's the hardest grade to kind of push Cause through. Because there's so much Because they, they have so much going on, and, you know, they're you teenagers. Know. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. want to be cool. <laughs> so, so your, your oldest is no... And they do, they're extremely musical. Yes. Oh, wow. Very musical. Yes, very much so. Like, Kira loves Be Free. She taught herself guitar, but they all take piano lessons with Richard Romiti at the HCA. He's okay. an awesome teacher. My youngest just started taking it. He's also in, uh, does drums and, uh, and is in percussion and band. Cool. They were all in band, too. So you, you know, theater. I, they do the theaters at HCA. Kira, did, Kira, the, did, Kira did theater in middle school. Yeah. The, the high school is a little different, so, but... Haley Ann was so amazing. So. Oh my God. Well, I love that your youngest who does percussion is also taking piano. When my middle son always, always wanted to do percussion, I wanted him to also be able to read music. Yeah. And to play the piano, it's technically a percussion instrument. It is a percussion. It's a it's a percussion. percussion. But you learn how to really read music as opposed to little X's of, you know, how to, how to hit the beat. No, so and he that's both. the same with he the asked, with piano. He asked drumming. to take piano I, because I, wow. I kind of had a theory with my kids. I didn't really want to push them into anything unless they really wanted to. They all really enjoyed it, so they continued. Um, but Cyrus was funny because he did drums first and then he got into percussion at the, high, at the, uh, at the band. Um, at Hopkins, and then he was like, I really need to learn how to read music. So he was like, I want to take piano too. So he started, and Richard was like, I mean, he, he's so fast. He's, he's just learning so fast. Richard's like, wow, you're better than some of the adults I have. That's, <laughs> That's awesome. Great. Yeah, he picked it up really quick because of the um, bell kit that, you know, yeah. you kind of you have start, to you start with. with. Yeah. Yep. Because it is. It's a percussion and string yeah. instrument. Yeah. Piano. So. You, and you just moved a new piano into your place, <laughs> which was like, a, like an ordeal and a half. Yes. That was a 900-pound Steinway player piano of my father's. <laughs> You had to have a crane put it in, bring it in. Uh, we would have liked to have a crane because these three guys that moved it up my deck stairs were, whew, they said it was by far the hardest job they ever did. Well, now, did you get it tuned after they moved it? He, I actually had to wait a week, so um, Charlie the Tuner, he's coming next week. That's uh -huh. what we use, Charlie the Tuner. So it really did just. Yeah, oh, just a month oh, ago. Yeah. Wow. Just a month ago. But we had, it, we had to spin it before, but this one is, just sounds so amazing. So oh, fun. that's fun. Have the kids already started playing on it? Oh, yeah, immediately. Yeah, so oh, fun. middle E is making a weird sound. So. <laughs> <laughs> I get that down. so do you play also? I did for a long time. I, I mean, I could pick it up again if I really focus, so I can help, yeah. you know, when they, when they have trouble. But my two oldest have just blown me away. They're so much better than I am. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's fun. That's great. Right. That's right. does, does Dick play too? No, Dick. No. Dick is just he. Lo uh, my husband Dick just loves music, so he collects a lot of music. But musically, no, not so much. <laughs> so fortunately, the kids got you my side. You can appreciate. You can. Yeah, appreciate. he does. I mean, he's 
He collects me. He has. We have over forty thousand pieces of music in our library. Oh yeah. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. My, my my husband takes a he takes a hard drive to whenever we go to friends' houses, and he'll download their whole collection of music, and then take it back. I mean, we have so much. The workers who work on our house love coming there because they're just. It's like, just always. It's and, always, and, always and music. And any particular style or every everything. Genre? Everything well, you can imagine. You're going to a pretty fun concert this weekend. Huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're going to go see the Who. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love love it. With her sixteen, you knew soon to be sixteen-year-old. Yeah, and two of her friends, and and my son Zach. And she wanted to see the Who. Oh yeah, and we went to Crosby, Stills and Nash on Tuesday. Oh my god! Which was funny because she was definitely like the youngest person in the audience. There was like eighty-year-old women like rocking out. It was <laughs> That's awesome. awesome. It, and they sounded amazing. It's, She's also seen Fleetwood Mac, oh, Elton oh, John. Um, yeah, well, she Elton loves. Well, John, I kind of feel like he's had new enough stuff and yeah, and kept slightly amazing. current. I mean, I don't think he's released an album in a number of years, but at least when the kids were growing up, Lion you know, King. he was lying yeah. exactly doing, you know, Disney music. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, and she saw Queen, too. So she's like getting all... <laughs> wow. Yeah, with Adam Lambert. Not yeah, well, well, right, no, well, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, well, that would be an interesting... <laughs> they did put a video up of him. Really? That was so, um So very... Musical family, yes, into music a yes, lot. Definitely. That's really cool. Yeah, that's because the spice of life. So yeah. it's Memorial Day weekend. You're going to the Who. You're having a barbecue. I'm having a barbecue. I yep. know. It's I Saturday if you're around, swing by the house. <laughs> you know, bring something if you're coming unannounced. Just bring a little something, and then the rest all. I know. I'm going to hang down by the lake on Sunday. Yeah, nice. But it's really. And um, I think Melissa's marching in the Memorial Day Parade. Yeah, the so is Cyrus. Cyrus. So I guess we'll be... Wait, wait, wait. The Scout, the Memorial Day oh, Parade. Oh, the Scout, okay. Yeah. I'm like... Well, there's the Scouts, scout there's everybody, right? Yeah, it's, it's not just Scouts. But, you know, we, we, the reason we, I go is because of Scouts. Yeah. yeah. And, stuff. But the, and then um, the veterans. veterans. So are you going to gonna do the, the, the cemetery? You they go to the, the cemetery. You know, are they the doing the flags today? They did... I no. thought they did the flags yesterday. I think they the flags are done. Oh, okay. Which is amazing. Last time. Oh, I missed it. it. I the love that. The flags in town. Yeah, yeah. The, no, no, at the gravestones. Yeah, in the gravestones. I think they did it the last couple of days. I'm not sure. Um, I'll just swing by and get a picture. That. It's going to be mad. I actually <laughs> want to post up a picture that's actually in the Boston Common right now. And it's this weekend they put out flags for every fallen soldier from the Revolutionary War to <gasps> yeah. now in Massachusetts. So right oh, now there are 30. 7,000 flags wow. um, on the Boston Common. And it's, wow. it's pretty sobering to see. Yeah. Okay. Four o'clock what for the flags? Yeah, I thought it, it was usually the Friday. I'm talking to Mike off camera. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I'm glad. Wow. <laughs> so uh, we'll have to uh, share that yeah. shot of the flags. Oh, good. The flags are today. Um, I'm going to take Cyrus. He loves yeah. doing that. Uh, so. The kids love that activity. They, they go, I mean, the kids just run all over the graveyards and they replace the all the old out. flags yeah. and put new ones up. Well, and, and I think sometimes we um, forget why this weekend exists. We always think it's kick off of summer, you know, got War the flip -flop sandals party. on, flip flops, you know, um, open toes, but, you know, it really is a more somber and, and you know, for all the fallen soldiers and, yeah. and really the fact that uh, we are still a pretty, you know, in spite of how I think we're not necessarily on the right track as a nation. We're very fortunate that we have so many freedoms and so much, and we really owe it to um, all of our veterans and soldiers and those that gave the ultimate sacrifice. So you know, yeah. and in Massachusetts, here, here. thirty-seven thousand. That's that's pretty, a sobering yeah. number. That yeah. is a sobering number. And we're a smallish state. I mean, Just you got to think about, about it. It's like it's country. like almost three Hawkingtons. Yeah. yeah. Every resident. Yeah. Yeah. Three times over. So it's really a big number. A, don't they in Holliston um, put up? There was a guy. Uh, yeah, they put the ones that are. I thought they were the POWs. I thought it was good. That, oh, that past they, POWs. Gosh, that's uh, a lot. And um, they're POWs. I thought they were. They, they, at one point, were all prisoners of war and stuff like. They had a ton. Um, they have of, their names and their they rank. Had their names. It's a, and they, they had a put ton them on in each. World War Two that yeah. were from Holliston alone. Yeah. On each telephone pole. On or telephone or poles, and then yeah. fallen soldiers they put up on telephone poles. Yeah. Yeah, and they have their name and rank. Yeah. That's a lot. So, you know, yes, I'm having a barbecue, but, uh, you know, hopefully everybody also remembers why the weekend um, and the holiday exists. So. You really know it after the parade when you go to those speeches and yeah. Yeah. the vets and stuff. That's, yeah. that's a pretty yeah. nice event. So, it is. It really yeah. is. So, 
So we just had, you know, the town elections, and I guess all the articles passed, and you were elected. Darlene was elected. Mm -hmm. She's our library trustee. Library, library trustee. trustee. Well, but there's a lot going on with the library. And there the whole, is. It's yeah, really exciting. Know, and the expansion, we've got a lot going on with, um, you know, HCA, you know, and that building. I can't um, wait we to had. See that. That's going to be. I amazing. mean, I, th I think with the library in particular for me is that it's the one thing that anybody can use. You know, it's cradle to grave services it really for is. anybody. And the new expansion is cool because it's going to have community rooms, a teen room. You know, the poor children's library oh, is gosh. needed so much. So the, the idea of you know the focus, there will be a ton of you know digital literacy going on in there. So it's getting well, us really to a next place we need to be to really meet it. And just like the Y has things that are really for children to grave that people don't realize. And the same with Parks and Recs. Yeah, that, Parks and Recs. You know, everyone thinks that Parks and Recs is like, you know, swim lessons sports, and yeah. sports camps, and it's way more than that. Oh, yeah, they have adult education courses. They right. have, you can get certified for CPR. I mean, You can go take a field trip here and there they're the, doing. You know, the Men's Basketball League, they have, um, they have just a ton of stuff. But, you know, it's very impressive. Oh. And the Men's Basketball League is actually one of the most established programs in the Parks and Rec. It's been there forever. It's been, it's, it's been there longer than the summer playground camp. Yeah. 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 They, 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 we they called do. that sweaty camp. <laughs> 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 My daughter never went. But actually, she might have gone one year, but Andrew went for like five years, and we called it sweaty camp. <laughs> they would come back sweaty. <laughs> well, I know my kids did a lot of the Parks and Recs programs in the yeah, summer. The ski program is yeah. so popular, and yeah, so they, they have a lot they have a lot going on there, and um, it'll be interesting if they can pair up with the with the Metro West Y because that's like a whole other you know if they merge together um, you know if they work together complementing services completely you know they could have facilities and the service mm -hmm. you know. and I think you know like one of the articles that passed was. Um, for the Pratt, Pratt farm, farm and building that scout, you know, yeah. eventually building that scout lodge. That's another thing where, you know, the Y, the parks and recs, and they can all kind of complement each other, even though I think the scouts are probably the best stewards for that kind of property. Yeah. Well, what I think we all forget is just how much we have in the way of recreation and open space and, and state and local parks and, and the ability. Um, I know they're trying to work on the whole rail trail, which is unrelated but it still will as that you but know it that's will tie the town yeah into, it's yeah. passive recreation yeah it's all yeah. that all passive recreation I there's a ton that. of trails i have a trail behind my house actually saddle hill the not the road the hill yeah is the high point in middlesex county and you're the hill of hillers i'm the hill <laughs> of hillers exactly you're the reason why we're not stone anymore <laughs> <laughs> thank goodness i know right <laughs> Yeah. We Which thought Hillers was bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was a clocker. It's not that much better for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stretch for yeah. sure. But well, there's so many trails and so many parks, and then the passive recreation, and then the active um, programs that are run. Just exciting. But yeah, yeah. a lot of those things, just like the after school program, we don't, I don't think as a general population, we know about all these places and things. I mean, until I got to know you, I didn't even know that you had that duck pond and trail. Yeah. Or I think that that even existed. And you told me about it. And then I'm like driving by up to your house one day. I'm like, oh, there's the entrance to it. Well, it and is stuff. part and of the state park. And you go, and there's a trail, and you can go into the state park from there, or you can veer off, and the old Jeep trails have been kept as open space. Cool. And it's I haven't walked back there. I, oh, I should God. check it out. You got, I'll take I love, you. I love trail. I love the trails. Yeah, so, I mean, so many we'll here. have to do it. And it's such a nice hike. I, I took my sister there last fall. She came out to visit. She lives in Arizona. So we grew up with all the leaf peeping as kids. And now where she is, Arizona, you know, with the cactus sort of, yeah. you know, go, go dormant. A couple of aspens. <laughs> yeah. That's I don't it. even know that they have those. <laughs> you know, she's in Phoenix. Oh, okay. So we went for a beautiful autumn walk on the Duck Pond Trail. And she was picking up leaves left and right. It's like, Deb, we're never going to get there. Your pockets are going to be full because it's every color. Every, you know. But it's beautiful. And this time of year, it's great. The wildflowers, um, it's uh, just, just, you know, the frogs are all kind of hatching. The tadpoles are out, and, and it's just busy. Can I bring my dogs? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, take my, yeah. I take my dog all the time. 
She loves it. Good, it's just I love great, finding new trails. Oh, it, it's no. great. And it's got to have water. <laughs> oh, well, it goes along Duck Pond. That's it. Nice. So, yeah, I definitely want to watch out for that ticks. Up. Ticks well, are bad this year. Ticks yeah, are bad. Ticks are bad. bad. And those little crawly green things that are falling out <gasps> of the trees, I don't know what they are. In, they're, they're, they're caterpillars. The caterpillars are... They're disgusting. Killing. Yeah. Disgusting. Well, it's absolutely disgusting. We don't have them your deck on with poop. our mm. side of town, but years past, we've had them. You can walk into the woods, and if you take a quiet, deep breath, when they're in their prime, you can you can hear them chewing, and then you hear Rose. the leaves Rose. dropping and there are yeah. other things I, dropping. There are little pellets of. I remember my parents had to horror. take down two beautiful crab apple trees in the front lawn and they were little crawly caterpillar things that made these white nets the tent caterpillars yeah oh, they were horrible i mean my my dad burned them out of the tree and then burned half the tree down so he had to cut it down but <laughs> it's one way to do it <laughs> there goes sal yeah. but but anyway yeah but the the our side of town doesn't seem to have them yet and they kind of go in cycles well you were down the lake with us last week and yeah. so you saw that we have a ton of them and they're just they're just falling like right on the picnic table. And you'll have it like a cheese platter. It's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah five second roll. That's where the little covers go. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, it's it's really been. All right, talk about a difference a couple of months made. You know, we're she had a ton of damage at her place. Oh, awful. Uh, I'm just I, I, actually, the painter just came today. I'm almost done. It's been a ten yeah. week process. And now, now yeah. we're in. To Memorial Day and kicking off the weekend. The, the, and and kicking off the official summer. And yeah. Yeah. guys, everybody have a great weekend. Yeah, enjoy. Cheers. You know, Patricia, Cheers. enjoy Cincinnati. Yeah. <laughs> have fun, guys. Thanks.